Hello, this is Kaylin Huntress, and today I'm going to show you how to add a checkbox to your contact form to allow people to opt into your newsletter. I'm using the Divi theme on my website at stellarplatforms.com, and my contact page is kind of a mess. I've got testimonials on here, I've got some social links, but up here at the top, I have this big honking opt in for the newsletter. And this is not what I want on the contact page. I want to start it here. So, and then I can have some testimonials. But what I really want to add is a checkbox down here so that people can opt into my newsletter by checking a box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Gravity Forms. Uh, Gravity Forms is a form builder plugin that integrates with a lot of different uh, platforms. And so you do need to have a developer license in order to integrate with, your, with MailChimp or AWeber or whatever your email service provider is. But what I'm going to show you in this screencast is how to use conditional formatting to add a checkbox. I've got the basic fields here, name, email, and what should we talk about? And I'm going to add a checkbox right here to ask them to subscribe to the Stellar Platforms newsletter. When I edit this checkbox, uh, that's the question I'm going to ask them. Subscribe to the Stellar Platforms newsletter. And the way that I like to do this is have one checkbox that says, yes, please exclamation point and check it by default. And I'm going to uncheck the other ones. Okay. So now I have this checkbox in place. I'm going to go ahead and update this form. Boom. All right. And now I need to use the conditional formatting. So I'm going to go into settings and go to convert kit, which is my current email service provider. And I'm going to add a feed that is conditional. When I add this feed, I'm going to have a condition on it that says only do this if, you know, it's, I've got, I've got the, you know, I match the map, the fields to each other. And then this conditional logic here, enable this condition, process this feed. If all of these match subscribe to the stellar platforms, newsletter is yes, please update settings. So now people who enter my contact form will only be subscribed if this condition is met. All right. And so now I'm going to go into the visual builder and I'm going to take out this form and I'm going to add a gravity form. So I'll add a text box and I will add the gravity forms short code. And while it's loading, I'm going to show you one more conditional trick. So when I edit the fields here, I can also add, let's say I have a, um, a different um, opt-in I might want to send. I can add, like, uh, subscribe to the five-day challenge, to the five-day lead generation challenge, too. But I don't want this shown to everybody. So I'm going to have this hidden unless a condition is met. So I'm going to go into advanced. I'm going to go into enable conditional logic, and it will only show this if subscribe to the Stellar Platforms newsletter is yes. Okay. So now I'm going to update this and I'm going to refresh the contact page and let's see what we've done. Looks like my save has not finished over here. Oh yeah, I need to save this one. That will help. Okay, so now that I've saved this in the Visual Builder, I'm going to come over here and take a look at the refreshed page. All right, so now I have a contact form. Oh, look at this. This is not conditional. Oh, you know why? It's because this is pre-checked. So if I don't have this pre-checked, this is neat. Check this out. So if I don't have this pre-checked, then I get two conditions in place. Oh, and before I forget, let me just go ahead and delete this top section right here that I don't want. It's going to start with let's talk. Boom. And now let's take a look at the updated contact page. So now I've got two conditions in play. The first condition, yeah, look at that. That's much nicer. Okay. So the first condition is they will only be subscribed if they check this box. The second condition is this only shows 
if the first one is checked. So then I can add in another ConvertKit conditional. Let me show you how that's done. I'll go to ConvertKit, and then I'm gonna add a second conditional to add a tag if the second box is checked. So now add a new ConvertKit feed, five day subscribe, select a ConvertKit form. I don't have it set up, so I'm just gonna pick this one and I like to track the source URL and now enable condition. Process this feed only if that's checked. So now if this second box is checked, then they will get into the special five day course as well. So that's your brief tutorial on how to use conditionals uh, with gravity forms to have a, a checkbox so that people can subscribe to your newsletter. Uh, thanks so much for watching.